13 signs. You were born into an Irish American family. 1. You're allegedly related to half of Ireland. According to family lore, you're related to everyone. Michael Collins might be a distant cousin. So might Liam Neeson. Your parents can trace these connections quickly. The family tree is complex, but some connections are questionable. 2. Tea is sacred in your home. Tea is served hot, strong, and often. It's never iced. Your family has strong opinions on the best brand. Offering a guest anything but tea is considered blasphemy. 3. Guinness is more than just a beer. It's an ingredient in stew, cake, and probably a few other recipes your grandmother swears by. 4. You've been guilt-tripped in Gaelic. Your parents drop an ah, go on, when they want something. Sure you will, isn't a request, it's a gentle command. You've learned to recognize the tone. Irish guilt is a powerful force. You've probably used it yourself. 5. Your family has a good room. This room is always kept tidy. It's used only for special occasions. The furniture is covered in plastic. You're not allowed to sit on it. The best china is displayed there. You've sneaked in to look at it when you were a child. 6. You've attempted Irish step dancing. You might have had formal lessons or just hopped around the kitchen. You've tried to channel your inner Michael flatly. Results vary, especially after a few drinks. 7. Your family tree is peppered with Mary's, Patrick's, and John's. Growing up, you probably had at least one Aunt Mary and Uncle John. Family reunions felt like roll call at a Catholic school. You have cousins named after saints. 8. St. Patrick's Day is practically a family holiday. March 17th feels like a second Christmas. There's traditional music playing all day. Someone always attempts step dancing. Corned beef and cabbage are food staples. 9. Your family's version of soda bread is the right one. Every Irish American family has their own recipe. Yours is passed down through generations. It's obviously the best. You're not sure what makes it different. Family gatherings always feature multiple versions. There are fierce debates about raisins. 10. The wooden spoon was a fair disciplinary tool. It hung in the kitchen. It was more of a threat than actual punishment. Your mom would reach for it when you misbehaved. You'd straighten up quickly, but it was rarely used. The mere sight was enough. 11. You've been schooled in the art of colorful language. Your vocabulary includes words like Egypt and gobshite. You can string together creative curses. Your grandmother's muttered insults are legendary. She claims they are not swears if they are an Irish. 12. Potatoes are practically their own food group. Mashed, boiled, or fried potatoes are a staple. You defend potatoes when anyone calls them boring. You know at least 10 ways to cook a potato. 13. Your home decor includes religious icons. Walking into your grandparents' house, you'd find a crucifix, a picture of JFK, and maybe a statue of the child of Prague. It's like a museum of Catholic Irish pride. 